The question was about uh, uh, new uh, innovative ways to mine iron ore and also my stand, I guess, to put it uh, in, in quick terms, on copper nickel mining and other precious metals that are here in Minnesota. First question. You know, one of the things we have to do as a state is realize that we can work with the private sector to create jobs in this state. We've done that where I come from. We have taken our taconite tax dollars from the mining companies. The mining companies don't pay a property tax, by the way. Uh, they pay a production tax, which is terrible this year because they've only mined 17 million tons and it's going to hurt us up north really bad. But uh, I digress. Let me answer your question on that. We use that taconite money to uh, work with Kobe Steel, a Japanese company, and a mini mill down in Indiana to create the next generation of using our taconite ore. Our ores won two world wars for this country. Uh, it's one of the biggest uh, royalties. It's, it's one of the reasons the Permanent University Fund at the University of Minnesota is worth about 400 million dollars and it's an endowment that can't be touched and it brings that 600 million dollars a year of research money into your Twin Cities economy. It's because of iron ore mining mostly that it's there and the University of Minnesota owns a lot of these other mineral rights but we took that money and we worked with those Kobe Steel and this other company and we are going to be producing now and it's starting right this month a nugget that can be put into the uh, uh, mill here in the uh, Twin Cities, the old North Star Steel Mill. It can be used here, it can go into a foundry. So any foundry in the state of Minnesota can use this new nugget. It doesn't have to be shipped down to the uh, Great Lakes where the old integrated steel mills are. We're also working with a in company from India to open up the first steel mill on the Iron Range, Esser Steel which is a huge uh, worldwide uh, steel company, but they have all kind of other uh, assets and, and uh, construction companies, telecommunications, which is a good segue into the second part of your question. I support copper nickel mining in Minnesota. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because everybody in this room, including all these lights and everything else, this cell phone has 26 different metals in it and they aren't being mined very environmentally sound where they're being mined. There's palladium in here, there's palladium up in northern Minnesota. It's a rare ore that's used in cell phones, in computers, it's used in tests for diabetes when you do those self-tests now. It's used uh, in that uh, monitor that you have in your home for carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, it's used in medical devices. Forty Almost 40% of all the palladium in the world comes from the biggest polluter in the world and mine in northern Russia that has no environmental standards to meet. You know, we can't export our pollution. We can't bury our heads in the sand. We can't have a green economy that the other DFL candidates are talking about without copper, nickel, and all those other metals. So the question becomes, should we do it right and do it right here in Minnesota? Or should we keep polluting somebody else's boundary waters so we can have cell phones, so grandma can have a pacemaker, and so you know your spouse can have a titanium hip? And I say we should do it right here. We've spent five years, and I haven't pushed the DNR or the PCA. Five years and $20 million polymet to do it environmentally sound. And you know, that's my feelings on it. I'm going to be honest with you about it. In a day and age where we need jobs, jobs and good paying jobs, in a, in a time when we are talking about a green economy, windmills, high speed trains, our medical device industry that propels a lot of your economy down here, all needs those metals. And we should do the mining here and do it right. And incidentally, the University of Minnesota and the permanent school fund, which is for K-12 education, the state owns most of those mineral rights up there, and there's over a billion dollars worth of royalties uh, just in that polymet area. So that's my stand on it. I'm being honest with you. Uh, we can't have a green economy, a medical device industry, without those metals.